What up fam, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Deb. Before we get into much that, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop goodies like these. Welcome back to such treat. Great play fam, come on. Let's eat. Thumbs up video, let's get it to at least 1K likes. We're not gonna complain if we get it to more. Shall we pray? First of all, I want to like and honor thank the God. We'd also like to thank you for those that are joining us and regardless of what mood and temperament they're in when they arrive, we pray this is uplifted by the time they depart. Father God, we'd also like to thank you for the sermon. We'd like to thank you for those times to where you pull the shackles, the scales, and the wool from over our eyes. Regardless of whether or not we're able to see it at the time, I truly thank you for keen discernment. And regardless of what it is that you're trying to reveal and make known, pray for strength in order to endure and follow through with your will and your plan. So in your son Jesus name, we pray amen, amen. Amen. What we have for y'all today, we got Lechonetta, Orlando, and we've got pepper steak over some regular white, it looks like um, cilantro rice. We got some sweet plantains in the back, some bread pudding off over in the cut. We've got a, a cola champagne and cola champagne. Cola champagne over in the cut. We got some oxtails, some rice and peas in the microwave, and we got a base leches that's in the refrigerator. So if I go through all this and I'm still hungry, we're gonna get to eating the rest. Otherwise, we already got our video for later. Let's dig into this food. Let me tell you how good this pepper steak looks. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do this. So I can mix in the rice. We're gonna really have a good time. Typically I salt and pepper my rice up. However, the gravy with this pepper steak is good enough to wear. I ain't worried about it. I did get some extra of the oxtail gravy and drizzled over the rice. Yeah, the food offerings down here. I meant A1, I kid you not. And I ain't gonna hold you with how good this pepper steak is. I'm glad I have a dessert over here to help give me a little bit more fulfillment because otherwise I would definitely be tearing into that oxtail plate immediately after I finish this one so I can space them out a bit It is Super Bowl Sunday. And I was thinking about going out to go do something today, but even with going to go get the food, it's busy out there, y'all.
So I'm staying and reading my Bible. With the meal tasting like this, I'm definitely looking forward to digging into this. So what have y'all got into today? called me to tell me that there was a leak downstairs over near the computer set up and I had to tell her well baby yeah I unfortunately well I know that unfortunately there's a leak down there Right now, we're just waiting on the home warranty company to assign us a contractor to come on out. Let's see what it's talking about. Okay. It's different, but it's really good. It's nice, clean and crisp, aromatic. They pair well together. I also purchased a pina soda. have that with the oxtail plate. I've been doing really well as far as drinking water when I do want a soda, drinking a flavored sparkling water, but I had to bite the bullet to try an authentic beverage to, as an accompaniment with the meal. about the typical nutrition facts of a regular can soda. But tasting that has me like, okay. I see why they prefer that over regular, over Americanized Coca-Cola. It's good. So I think this upcoming weekend I'm going to go to Universal. It'll be my first time actually 
going in there. So I'm intrigued. And throughout the week, if I can, on like Tuesday and Thursday, I'm trying to go to a different museum each day. Because they do have a few in the local area. Food is good, but at the same time, this is my third time in Orlando in my entire life. In the first two, I didn't visit or try to visit any attractions. And life's too short. You never know when the opportunity will arise to come back. So, take advantage while I'm here. They did have a roast chicken special at this restaurant. It was like $8.99 for a roast chicken plate. And they had some teriyaki chicken that looked so good. So I know over the next three weeks I'm going to be going back at least once. to get both of those plates. Because their, ro their roasted chicken looked beyond good. Training is actually going really, really well. And I'm honestly excited about this career track and this change. This makes my sixth video recording since I've been here. And I don't remember if I said it on camera or if I've only said it to friends and family the fact that I'm really excited in regards to working for this company because one there's a lot of opportunity for advancement and unlike other companies and unlike other companies the advancement potential is not based on who you know it's your effort, what you do, and what you know. So coming from the previous jobs that I've had, that's really based on who you know. This is definitely an exciting change of path as far as the corporate world goes.
although I've had pepper steak before, the seasoning on this pepper steak, my goodness. And it's not cooked too well done. To where the meat is solid as a rock. So how are you all in your personal career tracks going? And how are you feeling as far as where you are on your career journey? And another thing too about this particular employment opportunity is as long as I can remember the camera and equipment when I go to work, I'll be able to touch base with you guys on a my frequent run so that's exciting also we're gonna get ready to get into this bread pudding I haven't had bread pudding in so long so I'm really looking forward to it Now it's time to dig into this sweet treat. Let's see what it's talking about. Mm. 
let me sit back because I might be here for a little while. The flavors of this bread pudding are so on point. Realistically though, with how large this portion is, I might only be able to eat half. Yeah, what was I even talking about before I started eating dessert? Because I've gotten lost in the days. Man. Boy, I can't wait to try to get 30 days of Because, you know, if one can't bake. Just because somebody can cook or because they have good main meals doesn't mean their desserts are going to be on point. But their desserts are good. Too. Well, this dessert is good. And they can nail bread pudding like this. I'm pretty sure that today's leche is going to be bomb. And I want to get a torneado. They look good too. Let me make sure I'm saying it right. It's not a tornado. It's a tornillo, not a tornado. It's another pastry. But it looked good too. It looked like a um, what's that? What's that? Um, man, it's an Italian pastry that's stuffed with cream. That's what a tornillo reminds me of. Except it had, it looked like it had dulce de leche in there, as far as the um. Stuffing goes, man, because it's not a manicotto. Oh, what is that? Let me look it up now because now my brain is pondering as to what the name of it is. A cannoli. That's what it put me in the mind of. Like a cannoli, but with a different flavored cream on the inside. Yeah, this is my last bite because I think I'm at my capacity. So I got a little bit left. A treat for later, because I can toss this in the refrigerator. That was a nice little meal.
Well, sadly, fam, we have come to a point in the video where we must let you guys go. So, until next video, love you guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Be that light for someone else to emulate because you never know what your kind of words and gestures could do for the next person day.